Thank you very much, uh, my representative, Prime Minister. Welcome um, here. I, um, I would want to highlight our continued and active engagement with, U with Ukraine, which uh, demonstrates the seriousness and commitment uh, in our relationships. Um, I already had the opportunity yesterday uh, to have a bilateral meeting with the Prime Minister. Today we had the Association Council. And um, just to flag uh, our continued support, we have responded in solidarity with Ukraine when it came to following the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we have mobilized very swiftly um, in direct support 190 million euros uh, to Ukraine. And we also provided um, 1.2 billion euros macrofinancial assistance uh, to help Ukraine in the economy uh, and in the macro finances uh, to cope with this crisis. From that, we have already dispersed 600 million euros, uh, and we're supposed to disperse the second tranche um, uh, still this year. Um, I have some good news when it comes to the vaccines, because, of course, I guess this is something everybody is looking at now. Um, and we are happy to say that it seems that um, the COVAX initiative should be able, together with our uh, help, um, deliver 117,000 vaccines, uh, Pfizer-BioNTech uh, vaccines, uh, to Ukraine. And we are also looking at some additional vaccines coming from the AstraZeneca uh, company. We are looking also at other ways how to help uh, Ukraine in um, obtaining further vaccines in the vaccine sharing mechanism that we are establishing together with our member states. And uh, today we are also launching um, an additional project uh, together with the World, World uh, Health Organization uh, worth of 40 million euros supporting uh, Eastern partner countries, including Ukraine, to uh, organize and establish the vaccination, vaccination campaign, meaning creating the infrastructure for the vaccination, uh, be it uh, the cold chains, be it uh, the other equipment necessary uh, for actually uh, implementing and, uh, and, and jabbing uh, the people. Uh, substantive part of the meeting today focused on reforms. Uh, many of those have been mentioned already and their implementation. Uh, we see that the government of Ukraine continue to take a number of very important uh, steps uh, across the board. However, there's still uh, considerable work to be done. Uh, this is very welcome, uh, but we need to see further uh, progress. This includes in particular the need for the reform of the judiciary. We are ready to help and continue to help Ukraine in this regard. We have also discussed the implementation of the association agreement. We have agreed to continue to enhance the sectorial uh, cooperation, especially when it comes to digital and telecommunication. This is, some, this is an area that we are front-loading. We are continuing our work on climate and environment, and in particular how Ukraine and the EU could cooperate on a European Green Deal uh, to be extended to uh, Ukraine. And we are ready to take forward our work on, on, on digital uh, and on mutual recognition of electronic trust uh, services. Uh, we also continue to support uh, the public administration reform in Ukraine. And I'm pleased that uh, last night uh, we signed uh, a letter of intent to launch a cooperation between uh, the College of Europe in Natolin, uh, a project uh, by which Ukrainian civil servants will get trainings uh, in European studies. And finally, I want to mention uh, an issue which is close to my heart, that is the rights of national minorities. At the meetings, I, I reiterated the need for Ukraine to ensure the respect uh, for the right of national minorities and uh, to launch substantive uh, dialogue uh, with the representatives of uh, minorities. And this also goes for the law on national minorities, which is still under uh, preparation. And we expect that this law will address all open issues of previous legislation on state language and education. And in light of, uh, of threats or actions to representatives of national minorities, we also expect uh, the authorities to duly address them. But we received uh, confirmation uh, from the Prime Minister that they are uh, also committed uh, to protect uh, the minorities. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Now we can go to your questions. Let me, uh, before we do that, let me welcome especially the journalists from Ukraine. I see if you are joining from Ukraine. So very warm, warm welcome to this uh, press conference. So I will repeat just to make sure that everything goes smoothly, the logistics of how we ask questions. So basically you need